Hi, my name is Christian with Fun Media. I'm here with Team 180 Spam and at the beautiful Orlando Regional, and they're here to show off their robot and enemy here on Behind the Bumpers. This video on fun is brought to you by viewers like you and also in partnership with the following. For over 100 years, Kettering University has offered a better education because from day one, that education has been built on hands-on co-op learning. Kettering's impressive alumni network includes founders, presidents, CEOs, and front runners who have a reputation for transforming industries with their resolute leadership. Apply today at kettering.edu slash first. Anymark provides superior service with the reliability that teams expect. Check out their sport gearbox and ratchet sport options to their tried and true compliant wheels used by teams all over the world. From mechanical and electrical products to tools and hardware, head on over to Anymark.com for your one-stop shop of high quality and affordable solutions. All right, Matthew, why don't you tell us what led to some of your design choices this year? Uh, earlier in the season, once the game was revealed, we uh, broke up into di three different groups and we wanted to try and figure out what's the best way to play the game. Uh, we decided we wanted to go for points and ranking points, and uh, we prioritized a ground intake because one of the best ways to get one of the ranking points is to score coral. And scoring coral with the ground intake will let us shorten our cycles, and that was mostly the reason behind it. We wanted to try and get a climber on the robot to get the other ranking points, and we also have Zach here to tell us about the actual design of the mechanisms. Yeah, so obviously you want to go with Swerve Drive, so this year we're running the Swerve XS by uh, West Coast Products. We actually modified it from the 775 to have a uh, Kraken X40 on it for a little more power. And then over here at the intake, over here at the intake, it's a, a practical four, four bar. We um, included a lot of compliance in it, so the entire mechanism swings back with the motor itself and it'll also swing down so we can hit walls, get hit by opponents, and we're perfectly fine. As you saw at the beginning of every match, this is completely independent from the rest of the intake. So it flops down at the beginning of the match by rolling in reverse. So this intake feeds to a funnel, which orient, orients in a way that will feed into our end effector. Our end effector is rotating on a, on a two-stage continuous elevator. Up here on the end effector, you'll notice this weird looking Mickey Mouse here. <laughs> It actually grabs algae as we're, it can descore algae as we're scoring coral. So the reason it looks this weird is because it holds in the ball really well. We can spin around full 360 and it won't come out. It also gives us enough power to shoot it into the net. And then over here at the climber, this recently put on, it's very similar to that of a robot in three days or orbit. Um, so we stow the intake, put the arm in a certain position and it flops out. And once we line up with the cage, he starts winching it, and we climb. Now I'm going to hand it to Isabella to talk about programming. Um, so we have three limelights on the robot. We have one for coral and two for April tags on the back. Um, this way, the robot knows where it is on the field at all times using the April tags. So during autonomous, we use the April tag tracking to get to our um, reef positions. Um, the goal is four corals during autonomous and we average around two or three. And then we still use the ground intake during the, during autonomous as well. We have our human players throw the coral on the ground and we have coral tracking using the halo um, and the AI vision tracking. Um, and the higher frame per second using the Limelight 4s um, is what makes us really able to track them um, accurately. And then the intake is automated, so we actually calculate the coral's position based relative to the intake based off where we see it on the camera. And it generates a robot position to intake the coral and goes there. Um, then we have a sensor in the intake and three sensors in the arm, and we use it to index the coral. So when we have a coral in here, the intake turns off, and once we reach the back sensor, um, these motors shut off, and there we just use it to make sure the coral stays in the arm. Then when we have a coral during teleop, um, the robot automatically always faces the reef. When, we, he, when he drives around it, it will turn so that the um, scoring side is always gonna face the reef branches. And then our driver will press a left or right align button and it will go to the closest reef faced 
based on the side that is based on the side that the driver chooses. Um, the elevator and the arm will automatically go up to a position to score the coral and it will kind of shoot the coral out onto the branch. Um, if we're on L2 or L3, um, driver will press a different button when there's an algae there and it will automatically grab the algae and descore the coral at the same time. We have a sensor on the algae grabber as well so that when we're driving with the algae, if the robot sees that the algae is kind of, the arm is losing grip on the algae, it will spin up the motors again to keep the grip on it. And then the driver will go to the barge and press a barge button. The elevator will go up, the arm will position, and it will spit out the algae as it goes up to kind of give it a trajectory. Um, and then for our climb, uh, the driver will press, press a ready for climb button. This will deploy um, the arm and the elevator will automatically go up to position. The intake will um, stow and then the driver will line up to the cage, will press climb and it'll start retracting to pull the robot up. All right, that's really impressive. You know, I, I can tell that you guys put a lot of work into it. Best of luck to you guys. This is Christian from Behind the Bumpers signing off. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and click the bell to stay up to date on future fun videos. Animark provides superior service with the reliability that teams expect. Check out their sport gearbox and ratchet sport options to their tried and true compliant wheels used by teams all over the world. From mechanical and electrical products to tools and hardware, head on over to animark.com for your one-stop shop of high quality and affordable solutions. For over 100 years, Kettering University has offered a better education because from day one, that education has been built on hands-on co-op learning. Kettering's impressive alumni network includes founders, presidents, CEOs, and front runners who have a reputation for transforming industries with their resolute leadership. Apply today at kettering.edu first.